The secret behind Agatha Christie's disappearance is finally revealed. Hi there and welcome to Why and How. I'm Scott Leffler and I'll be your guide today. If it's your first visit, make sure to like our video and hit that subscribe button and let us know what you think in the comments section below. It was the last great mystery that Agatha Christie left unsolved, claiming amnesia after she disappeared for 11 days in 1926. The queen of detective stories disappeared on Friday the 3rd of December. She was seen leaving her house with nothing more than an attache case. She kissed her daughter goodnight and left a letter to her secretary informing them that she would not be returning home that night. The next morning, her car was found abandoned, with a fur coat and her driving license left inside. Her disappearance sparked an extensive manhunt, with over a 1,000 police officers and 15,000 volunteers searching for the author, as well as newspaper adverts urging any members of the public with information to come forward. Though police had few clues to work on, the circumstances of Agatha Christie's disappearance were nonetheless suspicious. First, there was the bizarre discovery of her abandoned car. Then there was a series of nondescript letters that Christie's had left to her secretary, her brother-in-law, and her husband. Her husband refused to share the contents of his letter, saying they were too personal. The secretary said that her letter was but a schedule, and Christie's brother-in-law told police that his letter said she had gone to a spa in Yorkshire. Interrogated by police, her husband had to admit that he passed the weekend with his mistress. This confession opened two theories to investigators. The husband had a motive to kill and Agatha to suicide. The prime suspect at the time was her husband, Colonel Archibald Christie, who had recently informed his wife that he wanted to divorce and had fallen in love with a young woman named Nancy Neal. Eleven days after she disappeared, Christie was discovered in the Swan Hydropathic Hotel in Harrogate, where she'd registered under the name of Teresa Neal of Cape Town, using the surname of her husband's lover. She later claimed that she had suffered from amnesia after her mother's death. This explanation seemed not real, and some questions are still unanswered till today. Agatha has never revealed what she did do in that time lapse, nor why she disappeared. And every time they ask her about the subject, she kept the same version of amnesia. So was it revenge from her husband? Was it a symptom of depression? Or was she just living in the story of her books? Tell us what you think in the comments.